This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Can you please be on All Stars 5? Please! Hell no, I ain't doing no goddamn All Stars 5. Nina, you're on. Okay, oh, hey, I'm Nina, Bonina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nina, maybe this time have a little bit more. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. I got you. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Renita Brown, take two. <clears throat> Action. I'm Nina, Bonina Brown, and you are now watching the Disney Channel. Nina Channel. The Oops. Nina Channel. <laughs> I'm Nina, Bonina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina Channel. <laughs> I'm Nina, though Nina Brown, and you uh, are now- Hold on, Nina. Uh, we've got an audio issue. What? Fish and chips, one second. We're just fixing it. Tea and crumpets. God. Sorry, Nina. Uh, oh, I'm oh, Nina, though Nina. Hold on. This British nigga got one more time. You know what? I need a break. God damn chicken shit gigs. The other girls doing work the world tour. I didn't get the role for DC Comics. And here I am doing these damn bootleg Disney skits. The fuck? Uh, Rita Brown, back to set, please. I'm coming, goddammit. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yep. I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. We need just, um, just a little bit more energy. Nina. Okay. <laughs> okay, one more time. <clears throat> I'm Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fofana, Osama, Bin Laden, Michael Jordan, Jordan Peele, the odorless Maya Angelou Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> uh, hold, on, hold on, Nina, we've just got... Uh, oh, oh. One last time, this is it. I'm tired. Okay. I'm Nina, Bonina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how long do I have to smile? <laughs> oh, we're done with you, Nina. Fish and chips. Hey, y'all, it's me, Nina Bonina Banana Papana Osama. British Pia, the fourth Saint Watt Brown. Grand height and fish and chips, matey. It's time to go and do Raw View UK Season 4. Damn, my accent is growing. So yeah, we're back for another Raw View. Unfortunately. I know. I know, unfortunately. But thank you guys for coming. Y'all know how we do it here. Keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. So come here. Keep it respectful. We can agree to disagree res disrespe respectfully. <laughs> If not, you'll be blocked and chopped immediately. So, yes, guys, how y'all guys doing? Um, yeah, we're going to do same old, same old. Read some comments, read some tips. And also, um, yeah, I did a raw view for Dragula Titans premiere. Make sure you watch that video if you haven't. Um, yeah. <laughs> and we have some news and stuff as well. Y'all know how this, how we do over here. It's like always random, like just random, random, random. So some of these tips are probably like late me saying your name because like one the other week I mentioned tips, but then I didn't never mention the, the tips. <laughs> so I'm going to pretend these are all new and stuff. So yeah, so I feel sick. That's all. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you, Enrique Castillo. Thank you, Ryan Kinslow. Thank you, Blood Elf Hawkins. Oh, for drag. Oh, for Dragula. Oh, shoot. Well, hopefully you're watching this video. Oh, Lord. Because I did say, you know what? Well, I'll try to remember your name for the next one. For Dracula. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Steve Romero. 
Thank you, Carlos Alva, as always. Thank you, Cameron Clunas. Thank you, love, as always. Thank you, Emma Wakely. Thank you, love. Thank you, Sandra Christopher. Thank you, doll. Thank you, Tony Bischoff. Thank you, Harry Morgan. Oh, a dollar ninety-seven. But I'll remove the dot and pretend it's one hundred and ninety-seven. Thank you, Dominique Coleman. Thank you, Carlos Alva again. Thank you, Albert Aaron Codalico. Codalico. Thank you, Paul Strangelin. Thank you, Michael Mentor Donut Man. You know why. <laughs> Thank you, Tamira. Fedosiva. Fedosiva. Thank you, Kayla K. Uh, 48 Cent. Bitch, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Rosalia. Fi a dollar 33. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Cameron Clunas. Again. Thank you, Muriel Cartagena. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Jer Jared. Oh, Jared. Jared Al Alhambra. Thank you. Some of these are probably from YouTube as well. So thank y'all for tipping me on YouTube. Thank you, Vanna G. Oh, for the PC funds. Oh, I know. I'm still trying to figure out the whole PC thing. Thank you, Richard Matchman. Thank you. Sp Spencer Hardy. Thank you, love. Thank you, Kingsley Yugoji, as always. Thank you, Gustavo Alverio. Thank you, Elkin Arroyo. Yo, 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 yo. Thank you, Anita Ayala. Thank you for the big tip, girl. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Justin Miller. Oh, bitch. Don't let them find out that you're showing me love when we hoe. They're going to ban you and cancel you. Thank you, Richard Matchman. Oh, not tipping me. <laughs> Both of y'all, Spencer is a messy Caucasian bottom who eats salad with no ranch dressing. He's tips me, he tips me and says, I thought I said doo doo, but he's saying doo doo doo. It doesn't hurt me. Doo doo doo. <laughs> Blame him for me saying it. Thank you, Alley Cat. Come on, Alley Cat. Ow. Thank you, Luis Gonzalez. <laughs> exactly. I called it out. <laughs> Thank you guys for all your tips. I appreciate it. Remember to tip. Please, if you can, tipping is not a country in China. All the information will be in the description box down below. And like and subscribe. Oh, and I said this in my other video, but because the video got to like 130, well, my my viewership got to 130K subscribers. So thank you so much. Keep it going. I'm gonna be honest. I've been subscribed to you for a few years and I have never have a problem when I see you having a video. Probably because I hit the every I hit the bell like everyone else should just saying oh <laughs> not clocking the girls who say that they who say that they, they never see my videos or are unsubscribed but they haven't hit the bell I do not fast forward through any of your raw views the nerve also keep singing running up the hill it's hilarious I couldn't believe baby left when she said F I can't believe baby left when she had finally thought of her to wear makeup <laughs> y'all are going to hell Doo -doo, doo -doo. Uh, about Turing's issue, it's not true. A pit crew dismissed that issue. Well, somebody was lying about what they said about her. Well, another comment. I have always gotten immediate notifications for all your videos. No shade. I only stop seeing channels I stop watching. So anybody out there not seeing Nina's videos, I see you real fans. JK, but seriously. <laughs> the girls are clocking y'all. So this was about the situation that everybody keeps trying to bring to my attention. I won't say the name, but they were saying, I guess, cause Raja was there that night. They said, Raja gonna sit her butt up there and not say anything. I swear y'all do anything to stay in the house with master. Nina was always taken up for your black ass. This was just gross. <laughs> uh, you know, I understand somebody not wanting to like you know, get caught up in drama or whatever. And I'm sure they probably were uncomfortable. But it would have been nice though. It had she of all people would be like, okay, y'all, like, aren't we aren't didn't y'all fly me in for a me and the other person on Canada versus the world? Why are we discussing Nina? Like, what has she done to y'all? Like that would be nice if somebody did that. But like you said, a lot of them are scared to go against the grain because they don't want to be canceled for actually stepping up and having somebody's back when it's actually worth having their back for. But that is how it is.
So I said it before and I'll say it again. Living with your family is the biggest flex, especially during these um, economically de devastating, devastating times. Sorry, y'all. I'm in the UK in a major city and rental prices are beyond my pocket. Finding an affordable place on your own means living in an area where you will be shot or stabbed. If I had the option of living with my family, I'd be there in a heartbeat, whether that's in the basement or the attic. This generation loves to flex in, in a sea of depth, posting garments uh, posting garments bought on a maxed out credit card. <laughs> the girls are rating. Also, I want to say Nina ain't no arts and crafts queen. She's an artistic legend. Girls be throwing on a wig and some lashes, thinking they can read others up and down. They're so silly. <laughs> See, I don't even have to say anything about the situation because y'all doing it already. I've already said what I had to say before. Because that's the thing. Other girls try to copy what I do. And some girls have the same kind of style that I would do. But these, these same queens that come at me about arts and crafts be praising those other girls like Evie and them who about do the same thing. They praise them, but for me it's arts and crafts. Selectiveness, you know, that kind of thing. I genuinely think it would have been a double chante if Baby had not spoken up. I do think it was discussed beforehand though and saved for the shock value. I hope Baby's looking after herself. I think her mental health was struggling, so I'm glad she did what was best for her. And just to let you know, I've never had fast forward through any of your raw views. Why is that person who I will not name commenting as if she hadn't entered the workroom three times and still appeared in less episodes than Nina? Oh. <laughs> I said, oh. I said, goop. I said, shoo. <laughs> I said, doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. <laughs> Now, that was a nasty read. I may have agreed to disagree with many statements you made, but I still respect you for for speaking your truth. It truly annoys me to hear a certain someone who is only known for one face come for your out-of-this-world artistry. You have paved the way for many of these girls, and they might not admit it. Your artistry is a, is a matter to be only spoken about with high praise and respect. So any other slander won't be tolerated. I will defend and keep defending every single look you've given us because no one does it like Nina. Thank you. Oh. oh, another thing I'm saying, yeah. Why am I seeing your name brought up at brought up unnecessarily on the latest blah blah viewing party? Calling your drag arts and crafts when your drag looks better than anything they've ever worn. But what I thought was sad though was that none of the other girls stood up for you, especially Raja. You were just speaking in her defense about how the fans treated her on her de debut season. And there she was smiling and being unnecessarily messy. But we're all sisters. Oh, yes, we are. It's in the contract. This is funny to me. <laughs> this is random. Just like, this, is, this is very random. <laughs> I was on YouTube and they recommended me seeing a video of, um, I can't think of her name. I can't think of her name right now, but the one who played um, Laura in Family Matters. <laughs> and you know, she's bigger now. Like she's got, she got, she didn't gain some weight and she dresses very old, like an old lady. Like she ages herself. And somebody said, why is she? <laughs> I said, why is she dressed like Shirley Caesar? When I tell y'all that tickled me. <laughs> Cause I like her. <laughs> Cause she was so pretty. She still has a pretty face and stuff, but she really like looks like somebody's auntie for real, but I can't. In news. The actor Leslie Jordan has passed away at 67 years old. Oh. So we're going to do a moment of silence.
they're all I went back to look at because people were, people were saying, oh, you know, he was so hot back in the day. You can only find like two pictures of him, honestly, from back in the day. And why was he looking like toned Mario from Mario's from, from Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> I said, come on, he, he could have played Mario in a movie. But rest in peace. And that's been news. Now let's go ahead and get to this episode, Mama. In awe of what she's doing. Oh, do you know what? We should just give her a... Well, the girl seemed to be very positive about her deciding not... Baby deciding to go home. I thought they'd be like, well, girl, you could have gave somebody else that spot. So I guess baby did go home because she was having mental issues. And, you know, that's good for her to know, like, yeah, I need to go. It's seven of us left. Who is ready to turn it? Why does it already seem so small? Like, seven left already. Like, I feel like it's been on long. I can't, it's like a weird, I can't explain it. It feels longer than, I don't know. But seven already, okay. Freaking bone here. I am ready to slip. <laughs> Why is that wig actually cute on Pepper though? I'm like, okay, I like it. An extra special guest chat, Mel B. Oh, Mel B. I love her. Have y'all, those y'all those y'all that have never heard her, her single when she went solo with Missy Elliott called I Want You Back. You listen to it. I'm sick of you. Who me? It's me. Yeah, you know I'm a fool. I think I want you back. My love has made a good impact. I know it might sound whack, but damn, I think I want you, want you back. Boy, I'm sick of you. Running over me, telling me what to do. And the remix is what I really love. It goes just like this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and I'm rolling down that hill to the finish line. Did she just, did she just say, rolling up that hill? Does he want to hurt me? Challenge, we're going to play a snatch game. So the gals are doing snatch game. And normally with the UK, I know some of the people they're doing. Hopefully they're doing some people I know. So I can really truly get into it. So we'll I want to play an Asian character. Is Marie Kondo... You want to play an Asian character? I would have never thought. <laughs> oh, bag of Doritos. Bag of Doritos. Okay, <laughs> that damn head. With Mary Condom. I swear I keep hearing her say Mary Condom. Like who the heck is Mary Condom? Mary Condom had a peen, had a peen, had a peen. Mary Condom had a peen and all those peen were glean. Hey. That gives you a clue. Dame Shirley Bassey. Mm. That's She's doing Shirley Bassey? I mean, that's fine. Like you could be white and it, 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 it do you, but I'm like, I don't know, but I, you know, lately I've been coming across more of Shirley Bassey's songs and I'm like, she really, that was a dramatic woman. <laughs> like every, almost every song she sung that I, I mean, I haven't heard all of them, but the ones that I have heard so far sound like they were meant to be in a movie. Like they're so dramatic for everything from the instruments and everything to her singing, the way she sings, like, it's this one song, I can't think of the name right now, but I literally, because somebody, you know, somebody want me to do it, they, they, messaged me on, they messaged me on Instagram and said they want me to listen to the song, and what I got from the song was like, a distraught actress, <laughs> like, I'm just like in my dressing room with tears in my eyes, aka eye drops. And my mascara falling and my long chiffon coat in a wine glass. And oh, I'm just looking at the mirror. And I didn't win the Oscar that year. See, I already, see I'm already getting into it. <laughs> I'm playing Lil Nas X. Yeah. Lil Nas X? Oh, Lil Nas gonna be mad. <laughs> no, but I can't. Lil Nas X, I cannot. I okay, yes. I need to see this. I need to see the foolery. I I can't. Which is part of your yeah. your uh, history, you know. Okay. It's always one season where RuPaul tries to like talk somebody out of an idea, <laughs> and sometimes they go for it and they mess up, or sometimes they stick with their guns and they mess up or do good. Uh, not somebody said. Wait, not somebody, somebody said. RuPaul is their outer saboteur. <laughs> And not age main doo doo. What? Amazing dancer. Are you familiar with the shablam? <laughs> oh, she's pr wait. Is wasn't she on here before? Anyway, she's pretty. Yeah. Somebody said Pepper should have played Favorite Flav. <laughs> oh, you 
difficult if virgin on anything, Groove. <laughs> so she's playing Queen Elizabeth. I guess with that character, you could make it. You could make it anything. I guess. So. Is here, Stella. Ew. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Girl, you can at least shave the mustache for this character. <laughs> Hello, my darling Ruth. Hello. Shirley, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. You did not say diamonds are forever for this. <laughs> that poor shop. I hate this so much. It's so weird. Her trying to look like a uh, mask kind of guy somehow makes him look more feminine. Like, this is like if my sister was trying to be a boy for Halloween. <laughs> like, she's giving me Rudy Huxtable from the Cosbys trying to be bud. <laughs> I have as many as you want, Daddy. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh Peppa. Oh Peppa Peppa Peppa. Well at least you have good clothes on the runway, good fashion. <laughs> he's, just, he's just being himself, just dressed. <laughs> Good morning to you there, RuPaul. <laughs> now RuPaul just laughing at the accent, but not what she's saying. <laughs> you Scottish people, you really talk funny. All I'm getting is Austin Powers and drag. <laughs> oh my darling, I've been a dame for years, but even before I was a dame. <laughs> Someone said Pixie looking like pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she should have done. All she had to do was be pork chop and sit up there with her arms folded, looking mad. <laughs> that would have won Snatch Game, bitch. <laughs> and she would have just stood there with her arms folded. <laughs> Looking mad, like in that meme. That would have been perfect. <laughs> Joy. Yeah. No shade, y'all, but this is maybe one of the worst snatch games. <laughs> it's just like nobody's really hitting it out the park. I feel like RuPaul is like laughing a little harder at Cheddar just because there's nobody else really to laugh at, and maybe Danny. But this is bad. It really is. And I met Bag of Chips actually when I was. Girl, Peppa looking like Ike Turner in a pimp costume. I can't. And it was amazing. <laughs> and uh. <laughs> what is happening? I would love to know what Little Nas thinks about this. Bend over. A bag of bend over. Bend? I wrote back of shit. Bag of I forgot Dakota was there. They just now showing her again. <laughs> Shame. Alright, let's move on down. <laughs> Dang, she may have. Go secretly, that girl looks like Peppa, Peppa could have played AJ. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know. I'm so mad that Cheddar's wig is, is not all the way together. <laughs> I keep looking at that one side that is hanging down like that. Like, dang. She had to take. Not wardrobe. <laughs> We didn't get our two left feet. Yeah, RuPaul's bored. <laughs> the last question of the evening. Thank God. <laughs> Somebody on my Twitch right now who's not, you know, they're not that attractive, but um, they're they're nice. Um, they said, why didn't nobody do Alan Carr? And I'm thinking like, Pixie Polite could have done Alan Carr. I could have seen that. Put on some glasses, some Billy Bob teeth in a suit, and she would have been good. <laughs> I feel bad for Pepper. I do. Because she just looks so uncomfortable. She really does. It's, it, it's sad that you you might want to um, excel in certain things, but it just, I don't know if the nerves or you just don't have the capabilities or whatever, but I think she has the capabilities because in the last episode when she was acting like the bratty like sister and the way she changed her voice and everything was really good. So it's like, oh. <laughs> I just really just picture RuPaul walking into my Zuma class. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see it. For the stars. <laughs> Jazz. Well, I will say, like I said, I, I, for, from the, all the Snatch Kings that I've seen, 
that was one of the worst ones for me. It was just boring. Like the only ones who I guess, and to me, I think they were just good because the other ones were bad. Was Queen, I guess, um, Cheddar. Maybe a little bit of Danny. Um, maybe Dakota. Maybe um, Jombers. Honestly, make them do a seven-way lip sync with waiting for it tonight. Night. Night. And they have to have honey on the floor like a roach crawling around. What's always interesting for me now is when people talk about it being an issue with the police. Not particularly trying to join the conversation and they can't be bothered. <laughs> prep is a drug that you can take, which... Now this is an ad for prep. You know what? A little too late. Now tell me y'all didn't think that was Oprah too. And it's time for Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. Well, that's been Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. <laughs> like, this is cute, but at the same time, it looks cheap. Y'all know why? I, like, I know it come up like I'm hard on RuPaul, but I am because, like, this is somebody who I used to look at like the ultimate drag queen, like, for real, for real. And so, like, she kind of she kind of put it on herself that she has to always be looking fabulous because I, I can't see her any other way, you know. And lately, I just feel like I don't know, you know, like uh, like I was saying before, like there was a time where RuPaul was the queen that kind of looked the best on all the seasons before, but then when the girls start making money and getting designers and hairstylers, hair hairstylists. Now the girls look better than RuPaul. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's okay. Like, it's not bad. I'll rent the look, but I'm just used to her looking more, I don't know, a little more fab. She's here to spice up our lives. Mel B. <laughs> Mel B kind of looks the same, but in kind of different. Maybe it's like a little bit of weight gain I see, but she still looks good. These, I, I, girls like this, like, okay, her, the, the, the black girl from, um, Oh, what's that movie that everybody love? The Craft. Her. Khalees. Back when Khalees had her curly, like, hair and before Beyonce fans hated her. Girls like that, they're so similar to me. Like, they have that kind of, like, I don't know. Like, like they look like they would barely bathe and just wake up and just brush through their hair. You know, very laid back, some weed, la di da da da. Another day, another slay. Like, <laughs> I can't explain it. <laughs> like, I can see them all being sisters for real. I really can. They have that kind of like, even like, even like on a different world, the mixed girl on there, um, they have the curly hair like that. They, they have, they have that same kind of like, I don't know, just that kind of like style to them. Ooh, pink. Yes, ma'am. I'm buying this. I don't even got to see anymore. I mean, okay. <laughs> the breast part is kind of going to the right and her chest is to the left. A little bit of cleavage would have helped. I can see Starlet wearing this too, but this is gorgeous. I'm going to buy this right away. Note to self, never perm your own hair. I'm going to rent this. Like, I, I, It's not like my favorite, but you know, it's different. The red is kind of different with it. I'm going to rent this. Wait, they call cotton candy their candy floss? The UK is so backwards. Start your engines. The horn was cute. But she's going for RuPaul's look, you know, that we all know. That statue I have. Oh, I'll show you the one. She's missing a few body parts. But I promise you it came that way. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna buy this. It's cute. It's like a, a pink Power Ranger. <laughs> Cheddar gorgeous. Ow, I'm gonna buy this. Yes, she's giving me shapes, shapes. But I would, I would have came out in my Pink Panther look. Okay. Oh my! I want this outfit so 
So <laughs> Michelle's face was like, bitch. This look also says, Illuminati, I'm yours. And she ended HIV just like that. Pink, pink jewels, custom feather cuffs. So I do like the makeup to an extent. I'm gonna put this one on layaway because I'm not sure if I wanna go back and pick it up or not. Tickle me pink feather realness. Uh, I hate being. I mean, it's cute, but I don't know if the reveal was really like that sickening. Like the way she held onto that for a long time, I'm like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Like, it's like, and it's like, oh, okay, some feathers, cool. <laughs> it's a safe look, but I'm gonna put it on layaway. Right in in leaves, it always rains. <laughs> for some reason, this is reminding me a little bit of Jamba's outfit from last week, in a way, with the yellow. It's like I want to like this, but then I kind of don't. But then I want to like it. <laughs> like it literally reads as a tent. Like it, like it doesn't really read. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like it's clever in a way. I'm gonna rent it, but I'm not really that big on it. But I want to rent it for. I want to rent it. I'm gonna really just see how it feels on my body. You know, and decide what to do with it. Now it's time for the judge's critiques. If Pepper don't just step forward and say, Rue, I'm ready to lip sync. <laughs> I think you're a funny person. This presentation on the runway was hilarious. Calling my fashion funny? Rue, the nerve. <sighs> I can see what she's doing. She's getting in her own head again. Not there being like how the, how the girls were towards me. There go Nina getting in her head again. Let's go away now. <laughs> Rude. That's that beat again. I'm not y'all for real. I know, but no, listen to it for listen to it. it is it's singing about do, do, do. like from listen to it, like for real, for real. So, Cheddar One, okay. I mean, I honestly, I don't know if she, if she was better than anybody in the snatch game because they were all, but the but the outfit, I guess, alone, you know. So, congrats. So, Lay Phil. And Peppa are up for elimination. Between Lay Phil and Pixie, who was worse? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Love you, Lay Phil, but I'm gonna have to send her home for wearing braids. Don't fuck it up. Because I already have. Send Lay Phil home for being too happy. So that's how Peppa gives it to the boys. Maybe she is Lil Nas. <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> now she just walked in and then the old chipper arm. <laughs> no shade, but I'm enjoying Lay Feel Better. I am, honestly. <laughs> okay, Peppa, that was cute right there. What's going on? <laughs> oh, <laughs> RuPaul, same, same. What is that? What what is happening? This runway got <laughs> now. Who's screaming? This runway felt. I mean, that runway. Let's think. It started off like kind of promising a little bit, and then it just got really messy on both ends. I'm just like. I get it, desperation, the girls want to stay, but I'm just like, it got really messy. You may join the other girls. Well, Black Pepper won. I think they just really like Black Pepper. Like, maybe towards the middle, Pepper started getting maybe a little more cleaner than LaFeel. But in the beginning, I think like LaFeel had it, and then they just both got really messy at the end. I don't know. Take this wig and shove it up your ass. Huh, well, what do you guys think? Did y'all enjoy the episode? Did y'all think the white person went home? As always, let me know down below what y'all think. You know, thank y'all for watching another week of Raw View. I appreciate you guys. And remember to stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kimochi. Bye. <laughs>